Well, hello, my honors. I hope life is going good. It is 6.10 and I've started this. That's before 7. I said before 7. What's that, Trixie? Before 7. Before 7. Yes, that's right, Trixie. Um, So, here are the problems. For some reason, it's not showing up real well. But I think you can see it. Make your uh, video a little stronger. But anyways, first one. The slope is 3 because it's solved for y. So the parallel slope. Switch pins. Oh, so much better. So the parallel slope is 3. Now remember, perpendicular is opposite flip. Opposite flip. Opposite flip. So it would be a negative 1 third. So... Next one, solve it for y. So minus 4y equals negative 3x because they subtracted, subtracted 3x plus 8 divide by negative 4. So it's 3 fourths x minus 2. But this part really doesn't matter because I just need the number in front of x. So it's 3 fourths. So the parallel is 3 fourths. So the perpendicular is negative 4 thirds. Because perpendicular is opposite flip. Opposite flip. Now this one, we find the slope. So it's change in y, 7 minus 4 is 3, over change in x. So that would be 4 minus 3 is 1. So 3 parallels 3, so perpendicular is negative 1 third. So find the slope. 2 minus 1 is 1, over 4 minus 2 is 2. So slope is one half, so parallel is the same. Here, same parallel. So this would be perpendicular is negative two. X equals the numbers of vertical line whose slope is always undefined. So the slope would be undefined. So the parallel is undefined. Parallel would also have to be a vertical line. So the perpendicular, you'd have to go from vertical to Horizontal, which slope is zero. Yay! Now, find the equation line in standard form. So if we're given the slope and y-intercept, you use slope-intercept. Oh my goodness, Mr. Murphy, that makes so much sense. So I'd have y equals 6x plus 10. Now I want it in standard form, so i got to get x and y on one side, so I'd subtract 6x. So it would be minus 6x plus y equals 10. Then if I have a point in the slope, I will use point slope. So it would be y minus 1 equals negative 2x minus 3. So I'm using this ordered pair, the y here, x here, and then the slope here. Distribute the negative 2. Add 2x, add 1 to get x and y on one side, number on the other. So, this one I have a point, I have a slope, so it would be y minus 3 equals 1 half x minus 4. So, y minus 3 equals 1 half x minus 2. So I'm going to subtract y to get x and y on one side and add 2. So it would be negative 1 equals 1 half x minus y. But wait a minute, Mr. Murphy. I thought you said uh, standard form couldn't have fractions. Oh, you are so right. I'm so glad you caught that. So I'm going to multiply both sides by deuce. So I have negative 2 equals x minus 2y. Yes. So this one, I need to find the slope. So it would be 3 minus 2 is 1 over 4 minus 3 is 1. So the slope is 1. So I'll pick 3, 2 as my point and use point slope. y minus 2 equals 1, x minus 3. So I distribute the 1. Right there. So I'd have uh, equals x minus 3. So I will subtract y and add 3. 
So get the X and Y on the same side. Add 3, this would be 1. So find the slope here. Let's bring this over here so I can see it a little better. So change in Y. So 6 minus 5 is 1. Over 6 minus 4 is 2. So the slope is a half. So it'd be Y minus 6. I'm going to use this point. I just picked it. Doesn't matter. 1 half X minus 6. So I'd have Y minus 6 equals 1 half X minus 3. So I'll subtract Y. Add 3 to get the numbers on one side. Variables on the other. So add 3, this would be negative 3. But Mr. Murphy, you said don't have fractions. Oh, you are so right. You're on top of this. Mercy. Yay. Let's see where we're at. You know, if you don't care, I'm going to break this up into two videos. And this is going to be the first half. And then I'll finish the rest of it on the second half. I think I can finish it in one more video. So have a good day. What's that, Trixie? Have a good day. Oh, see, even Trixie says have a good day. See you on the second video.